morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for being with us in the balmy courtroom. Um, you're going to hear that on uh, October 5th of 2017, the victim in this case, Mr. Nicholas Wilcox, was bludgeoned to death with a hard object. His skull was crushed and uh, he had puncture wounds around his neck and his, uh, his chest. And you're also going to hear that there's essentially three main players in this particular trial, uh, that being the victim, Nicholas Wilcox, the second one being the defendant, Eric Robinson, and the third one being Isabella Tagarini. Now, why do I say three main players? Because on August 23rd of 2017, all three of them were living in the same apartment, which is located at 7201 Northwest 15th Street in Plantation. Uh, Isabella Tagarini was dating, or together with Eric Robinson, prior to him leaving to jail. You're gonna hear that Eric Robinson was in the jail between August 23rd of 2017, and he got out that same year, October 3rd of 2017, and you're gonna hear that the homicide occurred essentially two days later on October 5th of 2017. In the meantime, while Eric Robinson was in the jail, Isabella Tagarini had a relationship with the other roommate, the decedent, Nicholas Wilcox, unbeknownst to Eric Robinson. Eric Robinson gets out of the jail and he's picked up by his ex-ex-girlfriend, uh, Ms. Kensect, who drives him to the location of the homicide so he can pick up some of his face and his vehicle, which is a Cadillac, which was parked in front of the house. <coughs> You're gonna hear that Eric Robinson picks up some of his things, and one of the things he finds on the wall is a love note between Isabella Tagarini and the decedent, Nicholas Wilcox. And it's a letter describing their love for each other and it even has their fingerprints on it. Why is that important? Is That's important because after the homicide, that very same letter was found with Eric Robinson's personal effects at his girlfriend's house, Miss Kensick. You're also gonna hear that on October 5th, in the early morning hours, Isabella Tagarini is awoken by Eric Robinson sitting on the bed, and he has his hand over her mouth, preventing her from screaming or talking. And you're gonna hear that she hears Nicholas Wilcox gargling and struggling to breathe. And she sees something red. The defendant asks her to leave and goes back inside the bedroom and finishes off Nicholas Wilcox by bludgeoning him. You're also going to hear that both of them dispose of the body. It's wrapped in a tarp, which was already in the, in the apartment. And you're going to hear that they drive all over Broward County. They drive to Publix. They drive to Big All right, Lots. we're going to hit the pause they button. You're going to see all of this opening statement in Ted Rowland's show, which is up next, and it is live from Idaho all this week. I'm going to bring in Ted right now. He's standing by at the courthouse where Lori Vallow Daybell is being tried, uh, doing special shows all this week. I'm going to take you back to the Robinson case. Ted, good to see you, my friend. Cold there where you are. Yeah. Good morning, uh, Julia. Well, yeah, it is a little chilly here. They're up and running behind me uh, for Lori Vallodebo, but we are going to be all in on Robinson. We're going to, uh, after the top of the hour here, we're going to get you back into that Florida courtroom for the opening statements. This is Court TV, your front row seat to justice. Top the hour. Welcome back to Court TV Live. I'm Ted Rollins outside the Ada County Courthouse in Boise, Idaho. Week three has begun in the Lori Vallow Day Bell trial. They are up and running for about the half hour uh, now, picking up where they left off. Last week, Sergeant David Stubbs on the stand will be monitoring that throughout the day. But we want to focus on Florida and opening statements in our next live trial. Florida versus Eric Robinson. Robinson is accused of killing basically his ex's ex-lover, uh, but it's a this is the ultimate love triangle case. 
You're going to hear two different stories in the opening statements. The state says Eric Robinson's the murderer. But the defense will get up and say that Isabella Tagliarini is the one that actually killed Nicholas Wilcox. Let's go back into the courtroom right where we left off at the end of last hour, picking up the prosecution's opening statement. They drive to uh, Home Depot to pick up things to, uh, to paint the apartment because there's blood all over it. <clears throat> You're going to hear that they, in fact, drive with the victim's vehicle, which is a Ford F-150, to a Broward County dump, which has very good cameras. And you're gonna hear that, and you can see the, the video of Eric Robinson driving the decedent's F-150, trying to get inside the dump, and then leaving the dump, asking for directions to the Everglades. And you're gonna hear, and you're gonna see testimony about the south side towers that were used by Isabella Tagarini and Eric Robinson after the homicide. <clears throat> You're also gonna hear that Isabella Tagarini was arrested for her involvement in this particular crime. Not the homicide, but the fact that she helped Eric Robinson uh, paint inside the apartment. And you're gonna hear that she, in fact, became a state witness to describe what happened in that very apartment. You're also going to hear about DNA that was found inside the apartment linking Eric Robinson. You're going to hear about DNA linking Isabella Tagarini. You might not like Isabella Tagarini, but I proffer to you, she's not the one that killed the victim, Nicholas Tagarini. You're going to hear that on the night of the homicide, Eric Robinson was living with his dead ex-girlfriend, Miss Kensek, and even though he had his vehicle, which was a Cadillac, dark in color, he chose to use her vehicle to go to the actual location. And you're gonna hear testimony from neighbors who saw Eric Robinson around the F-150, which was now, at this point, backed up to the, to the apartment where the homicide occurred and him loading the body and other things inside the vehicle in the early morning hours of October 5th, uh, 2017. You're gonna hear that police were called and you're gonna hear that Ms. Tagarini showed the police where the body was eventually dumped, which was 100 65 Cleary Boulevard in Plantation. It's a Publix uh, next uh, very close to the location of, uh, of the homicide. You're gonna also hear testimony and pictures of where the mattress was dumped and cut apart, bloodied, which was at the Del Oro Apartments, again, very close to the location of the homicide. And you're gonna hear that Isabel Tagarini voluntarily gave this information to the police. And after hearing the testimony of all the witnesses, uh, I proffer to you, ladies and gentlemen, that you will find no trouble finding the defendant guilty of second-degree homicide. Thank you.